έχουμε τώρα το VIR που είναι αυτό το μικρό κομψοτέχνημα. Τρέχει και αυτό το WebOS και έχει σωματωμένο προλογιό όσο έχετε να φαίνεται περίεργο. Θα σας αφήσουμε το στέλεχος της HP να μιλήσει γι' αυτό. Το ίδιο σύστημα του κάρτο. Now this is uh, running multiple applications all at the same time. I can switch between. I can scroll through my contacts. They're all fully live and they scroll. I can add cards into an activity stack. Within email, if I start a new email, that opens in its own separate card and I can have multiple draft emails while I can still access other parts of the system. And when I've finished, I simply flick them off the screen and that closes applications down. I can bring information in from all places in the web, for example, I'm currently synchronizing. HP Synergy allows me to sync with Exchange, Facebook, Google, Palm Profile, and I can add even more accounts such as LinkedIn, additional Google, up to 16 Exchange accounts, Photo, eBucket, Yahoo, YouTube, and importantly, third parties can also plug into this system as well. So uh, I can add in even more accounts, and the power of that is really that Synergy brings in information from the cloud and integrates it really deeply into the platform. So for example, here in the contacts application, what looks like a fairly standard list and with information about an individual is bringing that information from those multiple places and synchronizing it and presenting it in one really clear view. Equally in calendar, different colors represent different calendars. So I have a shared family calendar with my wife uh, on Google and she updates that from her Web OS device, I update it from mine and we share the same calendar. We also have something called Just Type, where I just literally start typing from the Today screen and the device adapts to what I'm trying to do. Maybe I'm trying to call a number, find an application, search on Google, search within an on-device application, or even perform a quick action, which there are some standard ones that we offer. But importantly, third parties can also add here. I can literally start typing and update my Facebook status all in one action. I don't need to go and find the application. I can do it all from Just Type. Finally, when I put the device down on the touchstone, Previously we just had the clock application, well now I can uh, demo this here. It can be more useful, it can show the clock with day and night mode, it can show a photo if it's on the living room, maybe it can show a, uh, a photo slideshow, or if it's on my desk perhaps I want to see my agenda for the day. But this exhibition mode is also extendable to third parties, so here's... Oh. Uh, you can see here the Facebook application and it will update with um, additional, uh, you know, if somebody updates status then each time it can bring in. Uh, it is, yeah, it's something we developed and um, you've got the Facebook application with an exhibition mode built in automatically. So I can uh, very easily switch between uh, these different modes and then when I remove it from the touchstone it comes back out of exhibition. It's a really powerful device. It's running a Qualcomm 7230 processor with an 800 megahertz uh, clock speed. It's 512 megs of RAM, 8 gigabytes of storage. It's got a 5 megapixel camera. Um, it'll record its uh, recorded VGA. And uh, you know, overall, it's an extremely powerful smartphone, but in a, a really design-led form factor. Um, you know, for somebody who doesn't want the bulk of a smartphone but wants the power of it, and it's a it's a great conversation piece. It really sparks conversation with people. It runs, it'll run full full on games. I mean, we have here the uh, ever popular Angry Birds application written by Robio, and uh, you can see how I can very quickly run the application very fast. Very fast. Nice. And there we go. <laughs> And that's the HPB.